Whether you're an entrepreneur, you work in a nine to five in an office or somewhere else, it is normal for a lot of people to get energy dips in the afternoon. And there are ways, believe it or not, there are ways to avoid this. It doesn't have to be normal. I've noticed it back in the day when I was in the corporate world, sitting in an office, sitting in a call center, whether I was actually an advisor or manager, I would get energy dips. And these are ways that I work with my clients with the revitalization blueprint in order to make sure we don't get that energy dip. We want unlimited energy throughout the day until the evening when we want to switch it off to unwind and go to sleep and recover. And here are what? Five, six ways we'll say six ways to really optimize your energy to avoid those afternoon energy dips the first one I used to find when I worked in a call center I would work through my lunch when I was so obsessed with bodybuilding side of things that I wouldn't have a lunch break I would just spread small breaks throughout the day and I didn't go outside I would sit at that desk I would be so tired come the afternoon it was all artificial light, there was air conditioning around, and I wasn't really moving. I'd go to the toilet like multiple times an hour because of the amount I was drinking, but I wasn't really moving. When I moved into an office environment and I managed a team in pensions, back in the day, well, it seems such a long while ago now, but I used to find that going outside and just getting some movement in at lunchtime, whether that's one, two o'clock, get that fresh air in, I would avoid these energy dips. So whether you work at home, work in an office, work in a call center, wherever you work, just try and be aware that you can actually move sometimes. Even a 10 minute walk will really help you boost your energy for the afternoon. Another thing that used to work well was I would go into a break room, there was all bean bags around and stuff and it was kind of a cool place to chill. But I used to do some breathing exercises and now I do them every single afternoon. I say every single afternoon, okay. Maybe not every single afternoon, but nine times out of 10, I will spend probably five or 10 minutes just breathing. Set my watch, do some deep breathing, really get that box breathing going, help the parasympathetic nervous system recover and allow my body to then switch on again for the afternoon's work block. The third thing here, Hydration. Too many people think that they're tired and they need a coffee. And that's cool, coffee is going to get you a lot of water. Yes, caffeine is a diuretic, but there's so much water in coffee, it's not really going to make you dehydrated. However, uh, hydration from water will come through a lot better. So getting good water in there, I usually say bottled water. If you're going to have filtered water, put some rock salt in there as well for added mineral content and hydration. But when you go to the toilet, make sure your piss is pretty much clear. Not quite clear, but pretty much clear. That's a good, easy way to see whether you are hydrated or not. And we touched on it there. Number four is caffeine. Have less caffeine. Don't have an artificial pick-me-up. Make sure your body is optimized to the degree that it doesn't need to pick me up. Yes, we all have caffeine. Caffeine is pretty cool, but there's a time and a place. If we're having to rely on caffeine in order to click our fingers, in order to flip that switch, in order to get some energy, inevitably there is going to be a down afterwards. Chances are if you've had a high amount of caffeine at lunchtime, 12, 1 o'clock, come 3, 4 o'clock, you're going to then dip and have that energy low, especially if you have caffeine a lot. I'm not saying to cut it out, but be aware of the intake you are taking on board. A lot of people will have different tolerance levels. So some people will have, say, oh, I can have two large Starbucks and it's like five, 600 milligrams a day. Some people will have such a sensitivity. They have half a scoop of pre-workout or they have a Diet Coke and they get 50, 60, 70 milligrams and they are buzzing for 10 hours. Be aware of the intake you take on board. That caffeine can be make or break whether you actually have dips in energy in the afternoon. Another thing is that you should have good food throughout the day. If you're eating a lot of processed rubbish, not getting your micronutrients, not getting good high levels of single ingredient food throughout the day, chances are your energy is going to drop. 
depending on what protocol you follow when it comes to your nutrition, whether it's intermittent fasting, whether it's ketogenic dieting, whether it's just having high fat, moderate carbs and so on, depending on what protocol you follow, it's still important to have consistency throughout with the foods you take on board. The last one here is something which I did suffer from a lot. Towards the end of working in the corporate world, I knew it wasn't for me. I had to get back into this health space, into this optimization sp space, making people accountable. I had no engagement in my job. And whilst I can't say, quit your job, it's going to be all right tomorrow, if you are finding yourself disengaged from your job, start making plans to get away from it. If you are with a team full of Debbie Downers and you can't stand being with them day in, day out because they're so negative and you get up and you have to hit that snooze button five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, chances are you're in the wrong position. It's not the end. Just work on something and get a plan together to know that you are building a better position for yourself to get away from that into something that really energizes you. Because once you get that position, most of the time, I'm not gonna say all of the time because I have energy dips as well, most of the time you will find that energy comes without even thinking of it. Because your job, your role, your position, your purpose is totally aligned to where you wanna be.